Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video, I'll show to you guys how you can assign a pin in order to log in on your PC on Windows 11. In my case, I don't have a password or a pin assigned to my username in order to log in on my PC, so I just press sign in and then I will be directly logged in on my PC. But if you want to configure a pin or a password in order to log in on your PC, and in this way you will increase obviously the security of your PC, so not anyone can log in on your PC, then the steps I will show on this video. So first of all, I will show to you guys how you can assign a pin, and then I will also show to you guys how you can assign a password. But those two concepts are really related to each other. So let's get started. First of all, we need to go at search and we type here settings. Once you see settings, then you click over it once in order to open. I want to mention that the steps are pretty much the same regardless if you use Windows 11 or Windows 10. From the options on the left, you need to go and find accounts. And then you choose from these options here, sign in options. Then it will redirect you to this page where you can see many functions related to sign in. In this case, let's suppose that I want to assign a pin to my username and I will click over pin Windows Hello. And as we can see here, this option is currently unavailable. Let's see why. You must add a password before you can use this sign in option. Use a pin to sign into Windows app and services. So I cannot assign a pin to my username in case that my username doesn't have a password yet. So for this reason, we need to go to password here from these options and then we'll click over add and in this way we'll set up a new password or a password in this case for my PC. So after you write your password two times and then you put a password hint just to remind you what kind of password you put it here and then you click over next. Next time you sign in, you'll use a password to log in. We'll press over finish. Changing your password, in this case it's just changing it from blank to a password. And now let's have a look if the pin will be available. Here we are, so pin and as we can see, we can use a pin to sign into Windows ads and services. So if you just wanna use the password like we did right now, then you can keep it like that. But if you want to change from password to a pin, then we click over pin and then we choose setup. And now in order to set up this pin, you have to first verify your account password. So you need that password that you just put it or if you already have the password for your account, you have to put this password in order to confirm and to set up the pin for this username. After you entered, then you press over OK. And that's it. Now we need to set up a pin. We have to write it two times. So I'm just going to choose this one. You can include also letters and symbols if you want, but I'm just going to keep a simple number for it. And then once I'm done, I press over OK. And here we are. Now the pin is set up for my account. In order to test if the pin is configured properly, you just have to log out and then you log in again and you can test if you can log in with the pin that you just set up on your PC. Here I am in my case, I have to log in on my account by writing the pin that I just configured and actually that's all that you have to do in order to set up a password or a pin for your user account on Windows 11. If you want to change the pin, you just come over here and then you click over change pin and then it will pop up this window where you can change the pin and if you want to remove this method of signing in you click over remove and then you approve that you want to remove by clicking once again over remove but you have to keep it in mind that after you remove the pin the password will be required and then you need to enter this password in order to log in on your pc thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel wish to you all the best thank you